Under our Constitution, what happens if the President of the United States makes a deal with a foreign nation, say Iran or Cuba, and Congress doesn't like the deal? Who gets the final word? This question has been a constitutional issue since the founding of our country, and the answer depends on whether or not the deal is classified as a treaty or something else. Uh, Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2 of the Constitution empowers the President to propose and negotiate treaties, but it also requires that two-thirds of the Senate concur in order for the United States to officially become a party to that treaty. But sometimes the President's going to enter into international compacts with foreign nations that don't need the approval of the Senate. In, in a famous 1937 Supreme Court case called United States versus Belmont, the court held that such a compact between the president and Russia did not need Senate approval. The court classified the president's agreement with Russia as an executive agreement that was within the constitutional power of the president himself and not the power of Congress. The Supreme Court usually judges the actions of the president through a three-part test written by former Supreme Court Justice uh, Robert Jackson. When Congress has given the president specific approval or has said nothing, the president's power to act unilaterally is generally at its highest. If Congress has passed a statute that directly contravenes the president's desired action, then the president's power is at its lowest. So, if the president is making a deal with a foreign nation that concerns something that is within the president's authority, or it is something that Congress has already approved, then unilateral action may be taken by the president. However, if the desired action is not within the constitutional powers given to the president, then it is most likely that the Senate or congressional approval is going to be necessary. This is a very delicate and difficult issue, and it may be coming to the fore if we make a deal with Iran because Congress may not like that deal. So stay tuned for a big constitutional test. I'm Alan Dershowitz for Newsmax TV.